Tibetan musicians pay tribute to political prisoners held by China. A photo exhibition celebrates the global prominence of the Dalai Lama. And Tibetan Buddhist devotees sing a daily prayer for the safety of their spiritual leader in his travels. Such activities would invite severe punishment for the six million Tibetans living under Chinese control. But here, in Dharamsala, India, it's just another day. This quiet corner of the Himalayas has been the Dalai Lama's home for most of the 51 years since he fled across the Indian border in 1959. By hosting him, India has incubated not only one of the world's most recognizable celebrities, but also a political process. His Holiness, as followers call him, has slowly delegated political power away from himself and towards a democratic administrative structure. Its task is to care for the more than 130,000 Tibetans in exile and to seek reunification with their historic homeland. This March, Tibetans will inaugurate the second person ever to be elected to the post of Prime Minister in Exile, or Kalon Tripa. But the eyes of the world are likely to be on this Parliament chamber for another reason. In March, that is when the Dalai Lama, now 76 years old, has indicated he will formally request that members let him retire from political duties. Tibetan exile officials, including current Kalon Tripa Samdong Rinpoche, are anxious about that. We all at this moment are concentrating to one point: that how we persuade His Holiness not to completely、uh, withdraw. No other Tibetan enjoys anything approaching the world fame of the Dalai Lama, and no one else, says Rinpoche, has the same influence over Tibetans. His Holiness is a binding force for all the Tibetan people, as、uh, the torch of light. Or the leader, he must be there. Otherwise,、uh, the elected person alone cannot take the responsibility. That much I know. Many suspect the Dalai Lama is seeking retirement not out of a desire for a rest, but as a way of pushing Tibetan exile democracy to be more self-reliant. He has always said he wants to step out of the way and let democratically elected officials handle Tibetan affairs. 缺少个那物质这个人性的，确实跟国产性，这这这也差着，咋呢？哎呀妈的，老俺的俺的上里呀，有都些人家都是他，但不只都是差用的啥呢？看他家人是越南的、缅南的，满足他个占据确实地主多上的，他但不啥点普遍些，国差点些。A more democratic Tibetan community may become more contentious, paving the way for possible challenges to the Dalai Lama's vision of a democratic Tibet living autonomously under Chinese rule. Tenzin Chokyi of the Tibetan Youth Congress says Tibetans should demand more than just autonomy. Tibetan independence is the ultimate resolution to the to the problem. We cannot sit and wait for China to come and talk to us. Stop using the soft power. You know, I mean. We got to be a little more aggressive than、uh, than that. Tibetan frustration boiled over visibly in 2008 when protests erupted across Chinese-controlled Tibet. It is unclear what effect a diminished role for the Dalai Lama will have on such emotions. We need him. Dolma Kyari is deputy speaker of the Tibetan Parliament in exile. She says, if His Holiness insists on stepping away from politics, it will put added burdens on the next Kalon Tripa. It has to be a leader who not just only is good in governance, but who's good in uniting the strength of the people inside and outside Tibet and taking forward together. After the Dalai Lama passes on, Tibet's administration will have to make do for 15 years or more, while their tradition selects a reincarnated Lama and raises him or her through childhood. That gives the exile administration a strong incentive to master the art of self-reliance. Kurt Asian, VOA News, Dharamsala, India.